Tula Credit Union ATM to the north of town was destroyed today by an earth mover, and all cash inside was stolen. The vehicle, which was abandoned at the scene, had been reported stolen by a local contractor. Since the culprit was able to act quickly before the security guards arrived on the scene, the police have... <sighs> That's late. Hello, Dad? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay... Uh, all right... He said to give you the phone. I'm sorry, Nanako. He can't take those days off. Hello? Sorry, but I'm gonna be late tonight. Make sure you lock up before you go to sleep. And about that time off on the 4th and the 5th, one of the younger guys got sick. Probably freaking Adachi! And, well, that case he's handling, we can't just let it sit. Looks like I'm the only one who can take over for him. That's... that's how it goes. Sorry to spring this on you all of a sudden. Um, how's Nanako holding up? Oh, she just ran in her room crying her eyes out, but other than that, she's great. Would you mind comforting her for me? Thanks. Alright then. See ya. It's rough. It really is. Nanako went back to her room. You recall that there's a test on Monday next week. Study? Actually, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. I would come for you, Nanako! But the controls won't let me. It won't let me, Nanako. It won't let me. Ah! <gasps> uh, if you get a good score on the test, you may become well known among your classmates and be popular. Or be more popular. Well, I hope that. Study. Since you have completely read the expert study methods, you are able to study more efficiently. Oh! I think that's a new feature, where it's like the books you read. That's cool. That See, that makes worth reading, like, work, make, blah, 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 blah. it makes reading the books worth it. Alright, what am I doing? Today, sorry, I was just like, again, if there are those moments of, like, pauses in playthrough, it's because I'm just quickly glancing over the guide, and I just, like I said, I'm following this to a T, I am making this, I am making sure to make sure I max out all the social links by the end of this. So I hope so. Today is Constitution Day, so yeah, the day off. Wonder when it'll rain. But I think today's an automatic day. Oh, morning. Hey, Nanako. Nanako is watching TV, as per usual. It sounds like someone's here. Hi. Chie! Chie came to see you. Oh, cool, you're home. Hey, if you're free today, wanna go somewhere? Yukiko's coming, too. Only if we bring Nanako. How about you, Nanako-chan? Wanna come? Yes. Um. Yeah, come with us. Huh? I, I can come? Yes, you can go outside. Out in the world. Of course you can. Because Nanako is the most adorable little kid ever. He decided to take Nanako out with Chie and the others.
Juno's Food Court. You met up with Yosuke, who's still on the clock, and Yukiko, who finished her work back at the inn. Oh, I like her outfit. bring poor Nanako-chan to a place like this on Golden Week? Hey, she's the one that wanted to come here in the first place. Where else is there to go? Exactly. I love Juness. Nanako-chan. But we're supposed to go on a real trip somewhere. We're going to make boxed lunches. He's so cute! Wow, you can make boxed lunches, Nanako-chan? Oh, so you're the family cook? Pretty impressive, big bro. Considering that I haven't, like, cooked anything yet, doing great. Big bro. Whoa, you can cook? Well, you do seem to be great with your hands. Uh, uh, never mind. Brown chicka wow wow. I'm a pretty good cook too, you know. Probably. If you'd asked, I would have whipped up some boxed lunches. Easy as pie. Yeah. Uh, let me think about no. What makes you think I can't cook? Let's have a cook off and see for ourselves. My, my, doth the lady protest too much? And hey, I never said I cooked. But I have this weird feeling like I'd win anyway. <laughs> I can understand that. What the? Yukiko! Here, Nanako-chan can be our judge. I bet we'll make something that ranks up there with your mom's cooking, Nanako-chan. I don't have a mom. She died in an accident. Yeah, forgot to mention that, Yosuke. Yosuke? I see. Um. Sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. Even if I don't have a mom, I have dad with me. And now I have a brother, too. And I'm having a lot of fun today. I love Juness. Yeah? That's good. We'll play with you anytime you want, Nanako-chan. She's so cute. Yeah, we should hang out more often. Come on, Nanako-chan. Let's go get a soda. Okay. She's a strong girl. Yeah, she makes me feel like I'm the little kid here. That's it. I'm gonna go get something for Nanako-chan, too. <laughs> and then you were left all alone. Do you want something, too? I'm good. Oh, I guess I do want something. Nanako gives you a carefree smile. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Nanako-chan. Thou is high, I am thou. Thou is true as grace, justice. Establish the Nanako Kojima. To Kojima, oh my god. <laughs> Nanako Dojima. Justice. Justice! Justice! Wanna share some takoyaki? <gasps> Yes! Oh, yes. I absolutely... I love takoyaki so much. You had fun time with Nanako-chan and her friends. Your friends. Nanako! You're so cute. <laughs> Today was fun, huh? Indeed. Don't know where I wanna save over. I'll just make another one. Oh, you know, screw it. There's so many slots. I will use them all. Hopefully not, but. All right. This evening we study. Test is coming soon. Yep, 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 yep. No pressure. 
You decide to study. As you studied, you read a number of dictionary entries that piqued your interest. Since you completed... <gasps> Yo! Nice! I guess in this ver- I guess in the golden version, they kind of help you, like, get- get those stats up there so you actually have more options for dialogue. Today's nature. Nature day. We're doing the cherry yet. I think it's Chie. Uh, yo. Sup. Might be kind of weird to ask after we hung out yesterday, but do you want to hang out today? I'll see if I can find someone else to come with us. Uh, I'll pass. Okay. I was thinking we could hang out with Nanako-chan, but I know it'll be annoying if I keep asking you guys to do stuff. See you later. Yosuke hung up. Yeah, because Yosuke... Who is... Yeah, okay. So she is the chariot, and I think I have, like, slimes the chariot. Alright, so Slime is the chariot. Perfect! We're hanging out with GA. Where is GA again? Hey, going out? I can watch the house. Oh. Might, well, might as well check out. What do the voices in my head tell me today? Oh my goodness. Oh. Alright, so quite a few. Voop, voop, voop. I like that. Alright, cool. So we are spending the evening with Ch 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 Chie. I don't know why I j should just auto go, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Dang. Okay. Ch -ch 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 oh, Mugukun, don't you think this is cool? That shines, those curves. That shine, those curves. Man, I want that helmet. Seems Chie has some free time. Since you have a slime, you can get closer to her. You want to train? Let's do it. Alright, I think I have enough courage. Samagawa River. You decided to train with Chie. Alright, today's the day. She is enthusiastic as today. Today is the. Whatever. Nanako! Huh? Yo! Oh, Nanako chan! What are you doing? Training, of course. Hmm. Training. Who are you fighting? Who are you fighting with, Chie? Hmm. Um. <laughs> myself, I guess? Ah, just kidding. Wow, cool! You think? <laughs> oh, a grasshopper! Kill it with fire! Huh? Huh? No, no way! Well, where? It just landed on your back! <laughs> get it off! Get it off! Nanako took the grasshopper off of Chie's back. I would totally be the same way. I absolutely hate grasshoppers. You don't like grasshoppers? I'm no good with anything with thin jointed legs or anything creepy or squirmy. Ugh, now I can't get them out of my mind. I can't stand those things. But they're cute. No, they're not. You're like Yukiko. Oh, see? Because Yukiko's fine around bugs. That surprises me. Eh, whatever. But me, I totally lose it. Kind of funny, huh? All right, now my decisions matter. Uh, okay, it says to go with the number one option, but if I don't have enough courage, number two. It's cute. You don't have enough courage. God damn it. All right, number two. Huh? That's not true. It's not. Somehow Chie looks happy. A lot of kids in my class don't like bugs. It's not just you. Don't worry. <laughs> Not a good chan. Oh, you don't know how happy that makes me. Thanks. Come on, you want to train too? Yeah. Okay. 
Let's start with form. I'll teach you a kata. She and Nanako begin training. Nanako has become the Kung Fu master. <laughs> you sent Nanako home before it got dark. I'm gonna get over my fear of bugs. I don't want to look like a sissy next to Nanako-chan. All I have to do is think of them as shadows. Then I'll be able to grab a whole fistful. I just gave myself goosebumps. Getting used to bugs might take a while, but I won't lose the shadows. I felt Chie's burning passion. I just spat all over my phone. Yeah, with level 3 in the chariot, we're gonna make even. Oh, Chie's determination in battle has been enhanced. Chie can now perform a follow up attack during battle. After finishing your training, you walked home. And then tonight, we're gonna study! Welcome home! Sup, Nanako? Study time! Ba, 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 do, 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 do. So, does the special effects of the books last, so, like, for the rest of the game? Because you, I guess so. Cool. All right. So today, oh, we start the her. No plans decide to go somewhere. You usually, don't go first. Uh, grocery department. I don't think it matters. But I'm just gonna go directly to the shrine because today we hit level one with the hermit social link. So that's at the shrine. So I had to go to the shrine at the shopping district. Okay, there's no one on the premises. The dusty shrine doesn't seem to be well maintained. You said to go home. What? Oh, wait. You sent someone watching you. <laughs> this is supposed to be the... Oh, damn it. What's the name? Shit. I forgot the name of the, the puppy in Persona 3. Kudamaru. There we go. This is supposed to be the equivalent of Kudamaru. A mysterious fox suddenly appears before you. Does it live at the shrine? The fox is staring at you. You notice an Ema plaque in its mouth. All your yens, yip yip, yeah! <laughs> the mysterious fox nudges the, uh, the Emma into your hand. It reads, please help grandpa's legs get better. Keita. Keita. The Emma, wait, Emma, yeah. Emma has someone's wish written on it. Why did the fox give this to you? Upon closer inspection, you notice an unusually shaped leaf stuck on the back of the Emma. You don't recognize this leaf from the local plant life. Is this also the work of the mysterious fox? Sup, Gramps. Oh, not every day you see young'uns like you around here. Nobody lives here anymore. I come by to tidy up things once in a while, but lately my legs are so achy. Oh, you just can't do it. All the hiccups. I've been trying to get this place up to snuff, but there just isn't enough money to go around. I suppose I'll pay my respects. If my legs don't heal, I can't maintain the shrine. That and I won't be able to visit Keita anymore. He's my grandson, you know. You wonder if it could be the same Keita who wrote the Ima. The Ima said, please help Grandpa's legs get better. Hmm... What is that in your hand there? Could it be? That leaf! That's it! Way back when, my grandmother always used to say a leaf shaped like that was the best kind of ache remedy out there. Ah, oh, what memories. But how'd you get your hands on this? I didn't think you could find those in the mountains anymore. P please, young man, can I trouble you to spare me the leaf? No, the leaf is mine! <laughs> yeah, sure. You gave the old man the leaf that was stuck to the back of the emo. 
my legs. See, now my legs are hurt. Ah, oh, this is it. This is it. Now, let's see here. The old man stuck the leaf onto his legs, and magically, he's better. I can feel it! It's working! Amazing! The pain I've been feeling for who knows how long, it's just up and vanished. Huh? Why, I feel better than I have in years! You really helped me, young man. I'm so grateful, now I can go visit my grandson. I better pay thanks to the shrine for bringing us together like this. <laughs> you marvel at the amazing results. Not only did it heal aches, it even restored his vitality. I want some magical leaves like that. The fox looks on you from his hiding place with a contented expression. It seems to understand that the wish on the emo has been granted. The fox is peering into the offertory offer, offer, box as if to check the contents. It even seems to understand that the shrine has received an offering. Perhaps you were given the emo with the leaf for that express purpose. Yep! It seems it has taken a liking to you. You just headbutted this <laughs> fox in order to create a friendship. It has a mouthful of the same leaves as the one you gave the old man. It seems the fox has a large stock of mysterious leaves with healing powers. That is not a yip. The fox is looking up mirthfully. Is there something is there something it wants from you? You cannot help but think how strange an encounter this is as you realize the fox is showing you a pile of leaves. A feel faint a you feel a faint bond between you and the fox. So you headbutt the fox to ex <laughs> extend your friendship. Thou art I, thy am thou, thou art a hermit! Establish the fox. The fox is the hermit. Where does it find such amazing leaves? You reflect on how useful it would be to have this kind of help while searching the other side. Yep! Does it understand your thoughts? The fox gestures towards the offertory box. Is it offering its services for a price? Uh, yeah, it is. Yep! It seems the mysterious fox has agreed to aid you in your search. However, it appears that it will require a fee for its cooperation. And it's expensive as hell, if I remember it, if they haven't changed it from the original. Return to the Ema, you return the Ema to the shrine and went home. Oh boy, what a wonderful day! I made friends with the fox, because I have no life. It's getting late. You decide to go home. The prime suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was... I'm home. Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately sure are... Welcome back! Nanako. I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. I see. Thanks. Anytime, Jojima. Oh, that's a Juness bag! What's in it? <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day. So I brought you a present. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, a t shirt. <laughs> it took me a while to decide what to get you. You like it? Wow, there's a picture on the front. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I got you one too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. Oh boy, it's a swimsuit with an odd design on it. 
Thank you. Don't mention it. I thought you might need one soon. Well then, let's eat. Okay. You spent a pleasant evening with the Dojimas. Study. study, 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 study all the time, cause tests are coming soon, so study all the time. Alrighty, so... This is awesome. I wonder when we'll, I guess maybe after the tests we'll read the last chapter of the book. Yo! Damn it, I just fixed this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. Uh. Maybe it's karma? It sure is noisy. Maybe you need a new one. Huh? Yeah. Hey, by the way, I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako chan. Oh, now you're sorry? After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. We'll do our best. Yeah. You know, Chie and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. Oh yeah, I was just curious, but are you... I, never mind, you know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. Oh, man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. <sighs> oh well. Until I get my motorcycle license, I'll just have to walk. La 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 lunch time. Alright, so today... Today we are hanging with a chie. All right, but before we hang with her, word up, word up. Hang out later? Will you spend the day with Yosuke? Decide later. Hmm. Really? Well, think about it, okay? What will you do after school? I am hanging with the Chie. Chie? Yes. Sup, Chie? Yo. What you doing? Hey, if you wanna, if you have some free time after school, hang out with me. Think about it, all right? Maybe you should hang with Chie. Which is what we're gonna do, but before oh. oh why do the holidays have to end so fast? At least they were peaceful. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. <laughs> Ugh. Excuse me. And I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? I doubt this is over. Hmm. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder. Will someone show up on TV again if it rains? If we only knew a little more about who the killer might be. Eh. It's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Ugh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. <sighs> I wish I had Yukiko's gift for studying. Hey, Yosuke! Why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. Maybe you should talk about her like she's actually standing right next to you, Yosuke. <laughs> Private lessons? Huh? What's wrong? 
Wow, what was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Overreacting. Oh, I'm sorry, you were talking about studying. I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Arian has had some strange visitors lately. If you thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. Sorry, my hand moved without thinking. Jeez. Thanks a lot, Chie, for bringing up the whole studying thing. Well, what did I do? Uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? What? Then it's mostly my fault? Oh, I should start heading home. <laughs>